Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about files and folders. We're going to talk about how you select files or choose files and we're going to talk mainly about how to organize your computer and organize your files so that you can find things easily in the future. Um, it's a good idea to keep your files in order and your folders in order. Um, it's a good idea to have maybe, for example, to have one place for all of your files and folders so you don't have to go looking for things all over the place. Um, generally, most computers have a default saving area called documents or my documents. So it's a good idea to save all your folders and all your files in this documents folder here. You should consider these files and folders as almost like paper that you would have at home in your own house. Uh, most people have a place that they put letters or they put post that comes into the house, be it on the kitchen table or in a cupboard or in a desk. So you have to consider this, these files and folders almost as paper documents and they need to be filed and stored appropriately. It's a good idea generally to file as you go along. Um, people have a habit of starting a document or, or saving things in, in a particular place at particular times. And so I'll get back to that. And over a period of time, you end up with a lot of clutter and files stored on desktops and you won't be able to find anything. So really, it's a good idea to file as you go. Um, the main reason for good file management is that it makes finding things easy afterwards or in the future. Um, some people might have documents that they might only open once a year, maybe an insurance document or something to do with your club, you know, something that you might actually only open once a year. So it's, it's good to be able to go and find that when you want it. It's a good idea to set up folders for different things. Not too many at a, at a, Firstly, okay, um, we, we use terms like create folders in a logical hierarchy. That's a complex sort of statement there. But very simply, I'm going to just demonstrate to you that, for example, if you have a home folder for your house or for your home, I'm just going to double click this to open this home folder. So to double click it to open it is click, click, and it opens up. Now, generally speaking, many people in a, ho in a home folder, you might expect to find maybe a folder for your car, uh, a folder for insurance documents, uh, maybe a folder for maintenance, uh, maybe even a folder for pictures of your house or pictures of work that you're doing or updates to your house. So this is kind of explaining to you that there's a hierarchy here. And just to show you again, just to remind you, um, where you can find these files up along here, there is a, an address bar here, which says that these files are in my documents. They're in a demo folder for, that I'm using for this purpose, and it's in the home folder. Okay. To go back up a level, um, you, I'll, you'll find in this video I'm using terms like that are logical or hierarchical. So to go back up a level, you can use this little icon back up here and it will take us back up to the top level of our demo folder okay now we're going to start filing away some of these loose files here okay there are one two three there's six photographs here that i have and there are four word documents okay i've used a naming scheme to name these documents so i have i have an idea what they are okay so first of all in order to store anything or move anything on a computer, you need to, first of all, you need to choose this, or I'm going to use the word select the file, okay? So to select the file means you choose the file you want to do something with. Like everything on computers, there are many ways of doing one particular thing, okay? So I'm going to go through a few methods of selecting files. The first and easiest method of selecting a file to move it or copy it, you need first of all to click on it just once and you'll notice there'll be a blue line go across here and I'm using Windows 10 so there's a tick box here to show that the file has been chosen or selected. Okay, Literally just click left click on the file once and you'll notice that this file now is selected. Okay. Another way of selecting more than one file is to use the control button on your keyboard. The control button is down on the 
bottom left hand side of your keyboard. Now I'm just going to show you the control button will allow you to select multiple files, not in a sequence. You'll see now what I mean. So I'm going to select this file here, first of all. So I just click on it once with the left click of the mouse and say I want to choose this file here as well. Okay. So what I do in this case now is I hold down control, the CTRL button on my keyboard, hold it down, and now I can left click on this file again. And now you'll notice that I have two files selected. I can keep holding down the control button or I can let go of it and the two files are still selected. But if I want to choose another one, I just hold down the control button again and I select the next file that I want to choose to do something with. So you'll notice that I'm, the files I'm using here are not in any particular order. Okay. The next way of selecting multiple files is if they're in a, a sequence or an order, if you click on the first one you want to move or do something with, and in this case now I want to choose these six photographs. They're all together in a line. Okay. So what I would do in this case is I would use a different button on my keyboard. I would use the shift button, which is above the control button on the keyboard, and notice what happens this time. I've chosen the first one. If I go down to the last one, hold down shift on my keyboard, left click, and it selects all six files that are in the row, that are in the column, I meant to say, that are in order. Okay, I'll show you all these again in a minute. The next way to select files is quite an easy way with your mouse. If you're good at using your mouse, you can actually click out here in white space, what I call white space, click, left click, hold down the left click, and you can drag over the files. You can actually see what's going on there. Okay. So you can literally hold down the left click and drag over the files you want to choose. Release the left click and you'll notice that the files are selected. Okay. So in this case, now I'm going to show you how to move and how to select these Word document files. They're exactly the same way. So I'm just going to go through these again. Okay. First of all, to select one file, you just left click on it with the mouse. If you want to take two files, not in any order, you hold down control on the keyboard and you can select the um, files that you want to select. If they're in an order, for example, if you select the first one, select the last one and hold down shift on your keyboard and it will select everything in between. And the third way of doing it, as I said, if you click, hold and drag over everything, it will select all the files. Okay, so that's how you select files. Okay, now we're going to deal with moving and copying these files to particular locations. You'll notice, first of all, that I have some folders already set up here. A home folder, a folder for my hobby, and a folder for a business that I might have. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at the, the, the Hurling Club uh, Advance here, this document here. I would ordinarily you know, think that that really that file should be in my hobby folder. Okay, so it's one file. I'm going to left click on it to select it. And now I'm going to show you one of the many ways of filing away files, individual files, and multiple files. The first way of moving a file into a folder is actually, first of all, you left click on it to select it. And now you can actually right click it and it brings you a context menu. And you'll notice that there's going to be a cut option here. If I left click on cut, and this is a, a hobby file. So now if I go down to the hobby folder, and if I go right click on the hobby folder, I'll be given a context menu again with a paste option in it. I can simply paste it and you'll notice there that the file has moved then into this hobby folder. If I just double click on the hobby folder to open it, you can see that there's the Hurling Club advanced file. I'm going to go back up a level to where I was originally. Okay. Um, the next file I'm going to move, I'm going to show you another way of moving it actually, again, is to click on the file to select it. And if I come up here up to the home tab and in the organized group of the home tab, I'm given an option to move to. Okay, so I can click on this button here and it'll give me an option to choose location. 
and I can choose the location here with another alert box that pops up and this is a business file so I'm going to click on business and I'll just put it into the accounts oh no it's a customer list so I'll put it into customers here and then I'll move it okay so again you'll notice that the, the file has been moved um, the next way to move these two files here I'm going to put them into my home okay it's a car quote and roof slates okay so this time I'm going to hold down shift I'm going to click the first one and hold, hold down shift and I'm going to click the second one now another way to move files and a very easy way to move files is once I've selected the two files if I left click again on them left click hold down the left click and I can drag these literally it's called click and drag so you'll notice while I haven't released the left click I'm moving down the two files the the, the home folder becomes active and you'll also see there's a little prompt that pops up there to move to home so I want to move these files into the home folder and now I release the left click and you notice the files have moved okay I'm going to move these pictures I'm going to move them in a few different ways into my hobby folder okay so again I'm going to go through again if I just want to move one into the hobby folder I left click on it to select it and I can right click then on it to cut it and I can right click on hobby and I can paste it and it says replace the file so I'm just going to replace the file I obviously have a copy of it in there already okay say now I want to move two of these I can click on this one with the left click I can hold down control on my keyboard and I can left click on the second file and this time I'll choose the move to option okay so move to up here and it gives me a choice to move to the location oh what no move to the location choose the location and again this time I want to put this in hobby and I will move it okay so that's another way of moving it remember then I'm going to move these I'm going to use shift this time so first of all I select the first one I hold down shift on the keyboard and I select the last one and now I left click again left click hold down the left click and drag it into hobby so watch this I'm going to select the tree which I've done already I'm holding down the left click on the mouse and now I'm going to move the mouse down over the hobby folder and notice the prompt where it says move to hobby release the left click and the files will move okay that's how you file away files how you move files and how you select files in the first place to do something with them i hope you learned a little bit from this video um, don't forget you can stop and start these videos at any time replay them watch them as often as you want Thanks for listening. Bye.